how to choose Bootstrap with Laravel tense without installation. You just download and configure it, or you can say import only the link. In here, I will show you two ways to use Bootstrap with Laravel. The first, we download Bootstrap file and import it in public folder, and second is we use CDN link. So now let's go together. The first I go to uh, bootstrap, okay, bootstrap file download, okay, and then we go here. Click on download. Now download finish. If we go to the folders, and then we okay, I delete the old ones. The name is now I drag here. Mm -mm, you can see this. Okay. Uh, this is my Laravel tense. Mm -hmm. Let me try something. Hello, Laravel tense. HP artisan cell. Okay, so hello, Laravel tense. So now I copy the Laravel, sorry, copy the bootstrap here, yes, it's the bootstrap Why I click on this, see, as us, we need to copy bootstrap.min and bootstrap.cs, okay, so let me copy it. Piece, and then we go to Laravel folders. My Laravel project is in dry seas, and here is my project. And then go to publish. I create one folder called CSS, and then I pass both files in here. I create another folder is js then I go to bootstrap package okay, we go to js we copy bootstrap and bootstrap.min.js copy it go to js folder and pass in Okay. Now we import it to our project. Clear this one. So lean. Mm -hmm. Set. This SS and. CSS bootstrap sorry bootstrap dot CSS okay copy this that means And then the script we import the shams 
web chain extension js here we change to js and js because in here is js folder okay we, we need to import this link and then let me test it bootstrap files form okay it takes one bootstrap form to test if it run or not okay this one copy it pass in here okay save it refresh the project again so it's work okay that's work perfect um, now i want to show you the Second base, okay. We use CDN. So let me delete this link. Okay, and then we refresh again. So you can see it's not working. Now we use CDN link to import the bootstrap file. So CDN. CD and bootstrap price action let me okay yes strip admin copy it and then I pass it yes screw it down bootstrap.bundle.js here copy it and then pass in here okay save it refresh it again now it's working fine okay so this is the easy two way to use a bootstrap in Laravel 10 Thank you for watching.